I would say we're, they're at DEFCON 3 right now, uh, trending toward DEFCON 1. I mean, this is a really serious situation, and unlike what I just got through saying about Alabama, I mean, Alabama was on the road to Texas and then at home against App State, and, and, and it's inexcusable, and that, that's not meant as a disrespect to App State. I saw their game against UNC the week before, and they're a, they're a good team. Uh, but they have no business playing with, with A&M. And, and I, I am reluctant to start believing all the critics of, of Jimbo Fisher. I'm, I'm reluctant to, to buy into uh, that, that he has pulled the greatest heist in Texas history with $100 million. I said I'm re- reluctant. I didn't say I'm, I'm not starting to uh, because I don't know where else to go. Uh, I, I, you, know, you have to start thinking that maybe – Maybe this thing is, is going in the wrong direction. Maybe maybe this is not the answer, and maybe maybe they got it all wrong with, with Jimbo Fisher. I, I am not ready to go there yet because I just uh, I've, I've wanted to believe in him, guys. But one thing I do believe, he's got the wrong quarterback playing, and when he makes that change, if he makes it, uh, you know, can the season be be salvaged? And and I think you have to seriously question whether or not it can be. This was not supposed to be the year that Jimbo Fisher was on the hot seat. But let me assure you, he's on the hot seat right now. And he's not on the hot seat in the conventional sense. Of, you know, the university saying, we're going to buy you out for 90 or $100 million. But he's on the hot seat from a perceptive standpoint where a lot of people in the country believe he's a complete fraud uh, as an elite coach. And, and I, I ask you guys to convince the public why we shouldn't believe that.